Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain displacement map. I explained the texture uh, in the previous lesson, and you learn how to insert your texture. And uh, from this lesson on, step by step, you are going to explain the render. It's very interesting. <clears throat> First, uh, for example, I want to give it a jacket texture for in bumpy. Uh, for this model i mean this as you can see this is a texture with a uh, color code black and white in the white it means 100 percent is to go up and then a black 100 percent zero and we have a bump in between them the grayscale we want to give this texture as a displacement map to here so going to the texture, no, it's not neat. Select it, select the pattern that you want to give a texture, or going to the sorry, going to the fabric that assigned to the this texture. <clears throat> and now here, uh, I want to explain displacement map here. You can assign that seamless. This isn't seamless. It means if you put them uh, beside. Uh, Side them, uh, we have a unique texture. It means um, seamless. Select it, uh, assign it. Okay, here we assign the displacement map to our texture and amount. It means how me, uh, its bump and uh, its height is its amount. So for seeing that, as you can see, this isn't just we have a color and this is just a displacement map. For seeing that, we need we have to go to the render. Here, we go to the render, select the render. This is I previously learned that way. Select, you have to here. Don't worry about all of this button here. Just learn these two. Refresh. This button, refresh to interactively render. It's very interesting. And as you can see, you can see this bumpiness. It's interesting. So you can doing like this for better seeing the sides i delete as you can see it's here it's cool as you can see it's interactive for sometimes it does not correct stop it and then refresh it again to act as you can see we have a problem here why is that First, see the bumpiness of, of displacement maps. Interesting. In this direction, as you can see, we have bumpiness here. You can select the fabric and make it higher. So you can simulate these textures from jacket, fur, and anything here. But what is the problem here? As you can see, the problem is if you as you can see we give this texture to the front and as i said before if you go to the back tab it says use the same material for the back we don't want that turn it off okay turn it off and in the back delete it that can delete in the back stop and then refresh and also for a side it fixed the problem from the back and also in a side, don't forget that, turn it off, delete it from the side also, and stop it, then refresh it. And we can solve that issues. Okay. And in here, you can assign a thickness for that. Refresh. Going to the fabric, the thickness, a millimeter, 10 millimeter thickness, very dense. Stop it, refresh it. We fix this issue in the next lesson. But as you can see, as you can see, this case, it's, a, it's a off from the 
this thickness we are here okay uh, it's because uh, we have we can use the shift or uh, particle distance I explained it uh, you can the shift means how this the bump texture of displacement is off from the uh, main body of the you can uh, give a negative number here as you can see it's go down stop it refresh it we have a problem in this area that the project we can use it it's better i explain this shift and particle distance with a logo okay uh, we give you more example don't worry but this is a displacement map uh, Oh, sorry. I'm coming to change it in the sides. Don't forget that. Go to the correct part. Sorry for that. Give to negative because they are the same. We have issues. As you can see, it's go down. And we have more problem there. Smaller number to uh, breach the area here. For correcting this issue, we can uh, add a um, type here, or, uh, or uh, we, for example, you be, you can assign the binding there to uh, add a, another bind here, and do not give that uh, texture to here to avoid that issues. Okay, we delete it from there and we stop render, and I want to give a logo here that is very interesting uh, this is a logo Clo3D logo as you can see this logo you can assign it as a PNG to your pattern we have a black and white it means it is at the bottom and it is a height and as you can see we have a Gaussian blur here it's a blur here and it's created uh, a soft bump in the scene as you can see if you render in the quality render render we have a sharp edges here but we have a smooth edge with a Gaussian blur it's a gray scale so we assign it to our logo here you can just uh, choose between the render and 2d pattern we're going here and here you can assign your texture from the this tool that I explained it before. First, I assign a um, JPEG that it is um, black and white. And as you can see, you can see it here. If you go into the render that and uh, go to, uh, as you can see, we are going to this tab, graphic tab, select it, select it. And as you can see, it assigned to the texture. It's here in the tab, it's graphic tab we this is a texture we have to first give a texture and then give exact uh texture to the jpeg to the displacement map here okay now we have both texture and uh, the displacement map like and uh, bump uh, amount and go into the render to see what happened here and refresh it that's what's happened if you use a jpeg as you can see we are here can go into this <clears throat> yeah as you can see we have a bump but we have a texture also there and as you can see we cannot delete the texture we can desaturate it and recolor it but it does not work so uh, we have to uh, give the png texture that does not this black uh, background and just white and the, this grayscale here so we choose a jpeg going to the photoshop delete this black and give it again give it again as you can see we give a jpeg a png and we have not our black and white and render again and if we need we can change the displacement map also and it does not need you can 
just the the texture is more important and as you can see we have a black white and the gray scale in between them and we have something like this interesting you can give the png also in uh, displacement map it's not important okay done we give it another interesting part when you select it here you can change the amount uh, sometimes if it is in a zero you cannot see it but if you want to see more you can bump the amount of this bump more as you can see we have if you refresh we don't have anything and we have to amount uh, give amount for that nice Okay, now as you can see, if we give a displacement map a PNG, we have a problem. So, it's off the pattern. As you can see, in displacement map, we need the black background for setting exactly on cloud. So, uh, for displacement map, do not add a PNG. You have this problem. Bring the JPEG back. Okay, we bring our JPEG back. As you can see, it says a black uh, stop and another refresh. Please do this because it's not refreshing your. And again, we have to make amount and this is our best result here. It set the black exactly on the side of the uh, surface of the pattern and we have a bump. Okay. Here in a particle distance, if you, as you can see, we have a facet and that quality, you can make a lower number, a smaller number to better quality, a smooth quality in the particle distance. A shift. If you want to this pattern go more inside or outside, as you can see, you can shift it. It's as you can see, it's, uh, it's exactly in a Z direction of the pattern. It's go up. If you have fur or uh, texture that your texture does not your displacement map does not looks like in it it's in an inner for example for you can shift it up in a z axis for example five as you can see it's going up and up if you want to you can go with inside your pattern as you can see going inside the zero it means it's exactly in the surface of the pattern if you select the uh, PNG for your texture that we don't see that background but we need the black and white white code to the displacement map displacement map needs needs black and white so use the black as a background that it's disappear and use a white and in as you can see the gray scale in between them for a smoother edges okay you learn how to uh, use displacement map for logo and a texture for classes. And don't forget to stop the render. If you don't forget to stop it, render, render and goes to best quality. Stop it. And here you can close it if you want. And just we have one tab. And if you want to activate it, you can to render. We will go to the render. It's a very interesting part of the color 3D. Uh, waiting for other tutorials thank you and you can delete it if you want hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release